So welcome back to my um, Scarab build videos. Uh, we've done our motors and motor mounts and booms. So the next section we need to look at is the center frame section. Now, it doesn't matter which Scarab you're building, all the principles apply no matter what. I'm just gonna state it again, Loctite 243, you need blue Loctite on every screw that goes into metal. Um, the armor instructions point out that you don't need to do that for the top deck and you can go that way if you want but I put it Loctite on every metal screw that goes into metal the only exception is a screw that goes into plastic alright it's the only thing you never ever ever put Loctite on but every other screw metal into metal make sure you've got Loctite on it it is the most important thing you will do as part of your builds other than keep it neat and tidy. A neat build to me is a reliable build. Anyway, okay, so uh, this is a G10 plate for a tricopter. Uh, you've also got carbon plates. One thing I like to do before I do my build is just run my hands over and make sure that there's no sharp or rough bits um, in the with the carbon frames in particular. What I like to do is get a bit of um, light sandpaper and actually just run over all the outside edges uh, just so there's nothing sharp or anything that you're going to A cut you with and B more importantly your wiring won't get cut on. Alright so a little bit of a sand off of the edges especially where you're going to pass any wires through is really a good idea before you start. Okay so the first step in building the frame is adding the pins to the base. Now here is one I have prepared earlier. All right. Basically what you've got is a whole bunch, and this is the whole, I suppose, centerpiece of how these things go together, is these little 22 millimeter pins, which are threaded at both ends with an M2 thread. And you've got these delightful little screws. They're a stainless steel, M2. There's a couple of different sizes in the kits. This is the by six, the M2 by six, which is pretty much the standard screw. There's also M2 by tens that you get. It's gonna be a bit hard to see at a distance. So by six, by 10, and you also get some longer ones which I believe are by 14. Okay, these are the delight, the bane, everybody, everybody either hates or loves these little screws. The trick with them is, with your multi-wee copter tool, is you always need to make sure that you properly push the tool into the head of the screw. If you do that every time, there is no issue with stripping out the heads. Where people go wrong is they try and put the screwdriver in at an angle or they try not to seat it properly and you will get issues with the screw not sitting properly and that's where you come into grief. All right, so, so step one in the instructions is to take your pins and your six mil screws and attach all the pins to the base plate, like so. Now being a metal screw into a metal pin, you should use Loctite. And if you did that, as per the instructions, you will instantly be in trouble. This is where things get a little confused because, and I'll come back to this in the landing gear section, if you're using these, uh, these legs, the long legs, they actually screw on via those pin screws. All right, those four holes line up with those four holes. So if you go ahead and do this, as per the instructions, you're gonna to have to undo these screws to put these legs on later. So if you're using the long legs, put them on now, okay? I'll do a separate video on landing gear, but you want to put the long legs on 
now while you're doing the pins on the base plate. Okay? Okay, so back to the base plate. It's pretty simple. Wherever you're going to have a boom, you have four pins go in. Right. So in this case, it's going to be a little tricopter I'm building. So I've got four pins at the front, two arms that stick out, another four pins for the um, the rear mount where my uh, pivot mount's going to go, and some kits will tell you to, some kits won't, but I like to put pairs of pins on the open slots. By putting those pairs of pins on the open slots, it actually gives you some points of compression between the boom blocks, and it actually makes the whole centre section a lot more rigid. If this had a gimbal mount, or just even a fixed mount, there would be four pins at the front. So, I'm not going to be using the long legs on this kit build, so I've gone ahead and used my M6 screws and attached all of my pins as such. And like I said, if you are, you need to use your Loctite while you're doing those screws. Okay, so there's my base plate ready. Now what I need to do is sit on it the bottom half of my boom blocks. Now sometimes these are a bit hard to get started and if they are, what you need to do is maybe just loosen off one of the screws or two of the screws on the bottom side just so you've got a bit of movement on the pins and then you can line it all up. You can see there that one just doesn't want to cooperate with me. Sometimes turning them around makes it easier. But in the case of this, what I then need to do is just loosen off a couple of the screws a little bit, just a little. You want to sort of do this while the Loctite's still wet. Slide it on and then retighten those screws. Again, while the Loctite is still nice and fresh. If it's been a day, if it's been a day since you've actually tightened those screws up and you've, you've broken the seal of the Loctite to do that, what you need to do is re-Loctite the screws. So take it all the way out, put new heat shrink, heat, uh, new Loctite on it and put it all the way back in. This is going to be a tricopter build. So I have a slightly different block right, for the pivot mount which has these arms on it, those arms, these little mounting brackets on it on one end, not on the other. They go to the rear and those arms go on the outside. It's the same piece of metalwork is used for a gimbal. So if you're putting a gimbal on the front, this would go on the front. Some kit, a lot of the kits now are shipping with the Delrin blocks. They work exactly the same as the alloy blocks. There's no difference as far as the build between the Delrin and the alloy, except for two issues, which I'll cover as I get there. Okay? But for this point, that all works the same way. So there we have our three boom blocks in place lower ones. Then what I like to do uh, is actually sit my booms in. As you can see I failed to actually shorten the cables on these two yet. I should come back and do those and then before I go on to the next step. All right, so they're just sitting in position and then we just drop the top blocks over the top. Now as you can see from those motors there, they're actually laying on their side. They're not actually on the right way. Um, ah, naughty me. The reason they're not on the right way right now is that I don't care. Because I'm going to pivot this later and it just makes it easier. I'm just trying to get those blocks over there. Then what I like to do, once the block is sitting in place, I like to line it up so that the metal, the end of the boom, is just nicely lined up with the inside of the block. Alright. Again, the end of the boom lightly, lightly, nicely lined up with the inside of the block. Then at this point in time, I take two of the 6mm screws. And if you have a look, Depending on the age of your plate, this was an older plate that didn't have this feature, so I have actually drilled out, the newer plates already do this for you, I've drilled out two holes so that they're actually a clearance size. 
the actual head of the screw will fit through that hole. Where those oversized holes are, you take a 6mm screw and you pop it into the boom block. Now I would use Loctite at this point in time, but the instructions say the top screws, you don't have to do Loctite. And we pop those two screws in, there and there, and what that means is now I can actually pick this up and move it around and the booms don't fall out on me. It just holds them lightly, they can still move, we can still pivot them around and get the positions right and everything, but it just actually just makes the, the rest of the build a little bit easier. Okay, so nice and simple. Now I'm going to come back on another video and do the pivot mount, but at this point in time we're going to leave this because that part of the assembly is done. Once you've got those mounts on and those screws in, the main body of it is as such built until we do all the electronics and then we fit our top plate. All right, but we don't fit the top plate until we've got all the electronics in place. All right, so I'll come back and fit the top plate after I do the electronics, but that is the main body built.